Facebook fans and friends, how are you today? It's been a long time since the indie show has been on Facebook, but we're back right now and we have a special, special guest. We have the founder, director, CEO of the Urban Guerrilla Orchestra, Mr. Henry McMillan. He's here with us and what he's going to do is give us a little background of his band and then Henry's going to tell us all the things that he's up to. Wait till you find out the things he's up to. How you doing, Henry? I'm well, Doris. How are you? I'm doing great. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, but we did yeah. see each other twice, all right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's been yes. a long time. And it's good to see yeah. you. Mm -hmm. When I saw you in the park. Right. Man, that was some good music <laughs> you were playing. Yeah. That's some good music. I enjoyed that. We had a good time. We that was good. good. We had a good time. Now, was that all the band? Tell me about that. Yeah, event. I mean, basically the band is pretty much 13 pieces right now. Uh -huh. You know, four singers, three horns, and the rhythm section with percussion. So it's a big organization. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And you get lots and lots of events. Yeah. It's, for the most part, we, we do a lot of uh, weddings. Mm -hmm. Corporate events, open air music festivals in the mm -hmm. summertime. Uh, we do uh, the Soul Train cruise in January mm -hmm. and the Ultimate Disco cruise in February. So we do two theme cruises at the beginning of the year. And then for the most part, it's uh, high end weddings and corporate events throughout the year, mm -hmm. open air music festivals, and things of that nature in the summer. Okay, and it's not only here, you're all over. Yeah, very true, very true, all across the country. Well, that's mm -hmm. great, you know, and I noticed that um, you have different people at different times, right? Is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah. You know, and people have calendars and schedules, and everybody has their own careers and things of that yeah. nature, so we interchange it. I mean, there's a core group of musicians that are pretty much always there, but we swap in and swap out. You know, Philadelphia is a melting pot of talent in regards to vocalists and yeah. musicians. So yeah. everybody knows everybody. So UGO, the Urban Guerrilla Orchestra, is based <laughs> in the Army of Philly Musicians and Singers. <laughs> okay. Now, I noticed that there were some younger um, guys there. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you're yeah, getting them into it, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. we are. Yes, we are. We're, we're training them up. And, you know, bathing them in that old school <laughs> fucking soul. <laughs> well, it was really, really great. Yeah. And I looked, I saw so many of them. And that was just the horn section. Yeah, yeah. So how many's in the horn section? Well, it, it's as low as three. Uh, myself on trumpet, Lewis Taylor on saxophone, uh -huh. Don Collins on trombone. But we expanded to six or seven horns, all depending yeah. on what the, what the gig is, you know. And I noticed it was a female in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah, two. she's great. Paula was Holloway, two? Naima Harper. No, I didn't see yeah, Paula Holloway there. Yeah, Paula, Paula, I think Paula may have been sick or something or may have had a conflict yeah. in some way, but she's there the majority of the time. Paula and Naima. Naima Paula Holloway, was there. Naima Harper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was there. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're doing a great job. I'm hearing so many great things that you're doing. You know, I really want to go on those cruise. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to go on the cruise. The cruise, the cruise is 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 something. You you can talk about it all you want, but until you experience it, you experience the people, experience the music all day long. Literally, the first act comes on probably somewhere between ten thirty and eleven o'clock in the morning, and the music goes on until about two thirty three o'clock yeah. in the morning every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's only... comedy on the ship, you know, there's comedy, gospel, we cover everything. Yeah. yeah. 
I've, I've only been on one. Okay. And I mean, it was like people were up all night and they were eating all night. And oh just, my goodness. And they were just going yeah. from place to place all night. Yeah. And you know. You know, and you don't even have to leave your room. I mean, <laughs> it's room service 24 hours a day. You, yeah. you know, you don't even have to make a phone call. You can go and log on to the television and order online. Isn't that something? <laughs> and this something? stuff comes to your room. It's unbelievable, man. We're living in the age of the Jetsons. But it, it was it's a, it's a good thing to do. It it's is. relaxing. It's relaxing. Eating. What's relaxing for me, uh -huh. you wind up gaining a whole bunch of weight. Lord <laughs> knows I don't need to gain anymore. <laughs> but it's food everywhere. 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 Yeah. Well, um, do you have any upcoming events with the band? Yeah, we're getting ready for, uh, I decided to go into the deep water. Myself and some friends decided to uh, produce our first music festival. We felt as though that there was a void uh, with old school concerts, old school R&B concerts. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of the artists are retired or yeah. have passed over, but yeah. there's still some great ones still here. Still living. So, you know, I decided that I wanted to go back to when I used to go to the Dell and could see Mandrill and oh, War yeah. and uh, yeah. Larry Graham and Graham <laughs> Central Station and stuff like that. So it's called the All Things Music Festival. Okay. And okay. it's transpiring on Saturday, August the 19th at the Salem County Fairgrounds in, in Salem, New Jersey. Um, and I just put together a lineup. I wanted to do it during the day. I didn't want it to be at night. I wanted it to be during the day so people could come in and have a good time and go back home before it gets dark. dark. So. Mm -hmm. I've got a band by the name of Best Kept Soul out of Wilmington, Delaware, opening things up. And then um, UGO is coming on. Mm -hmm. And then after us, Breakwater. Mm, okay. And then we have a house artist, phenomenal house artist out of Philadelphia by the name of Lady Alma. A Lady Alma. Yes, okay. Lady Alma. And after Lady Alma, we've got what I'm calling our big three. We've got After Seven. And after After, after Seven, Average White Band. Oh, that's great. And the uh, yeah. festival's closing out with war. Oh, gosh. The Cisco Kid mm -hmm. and Slipping in the Darkness and Why Can't We Be Friends and The World is a Ghetto. Oh. So, war got them records, man. <laughs> so so war did you get, records. did were you able or are there some of the originals with you? Original what? Vocalists. Uh, uh, in, um musicians with with all with, of them with war yeah oh yeah war still has the original lead vocalist Lonnie um average white band has two original members and after seven has two original members okay oh yeah good but to the go. original lead singers are there okay on all three bands okay. you know that's important to me in regards to when I'm um putting things together like that that for the most part, that the original voices are there. Yeah. You know? If they can be there, that's yeah. important. Yeah. So the original voices on all three of those acts will be there. And that's on August 19th. August 19th. Yep. Gates open up at 12. The um, website is atmfestival.com for ticket information and anything you would want to know about the festival. atmfestival.com. Okay. And now we have to bring our chairs. Right, right. Okay. It, it, it's it's a picnic style scenario. Bring, bring our blankets, food, bring your food. chairs. You can bring coolers with food in it. Okay. We, we're going to have several food trucks out there. And oh, that's going to be and nice. Uh -huh. So it's going to be a very it's going to be a a festive type situation. You know, a lot of uh, food trucks, mm -hmm. um, vendors. And music. I know it's going to be Plus music. Plus, we've got DJs, so we, it, it's going to be a party from start to finish. Uh -huh. Because in between all the acts, we've got uh, DJ Tim Dog and DJ Sean T playing music all night, you know, until the festival's over. All afternoon, rather. Okay, so this is, is this one of your first times you're doing this? It's absolutely my first time the doing it. The first time? We went into the deep water, you know. I could have gone on and did war or after seven or average white band i said we're going to do all three of them that's i'm excited and, and, about that and, that's you know, i'm excited so we've got a yeah. huge area uh -huh. you know to get 
to get a few thousand people out there. Yes, to have a good yes, time. yes. Have a good time. And we're going to hear all those old songs Woo! that you know that we haven't heard for years and years and years. Man, between average white band and war alone, I mean, God, oh, it's got to yeah. be at least fifteen to twenty top ten records, and a whole bunch of number ones. I mean, average white band, what? Pick up the pieces. Yeah. Cut the cake. Schoolboy crush. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be great. What do you think, Gilbert? What, what do you think? It's going huh? to be a fabulous, right? You no, know, I'm going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can kind him in to give me a ticket or something. Yeah. <laughs> we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Oh, that would be good. Yes, yes. But um, it is going to be a great night. Great night. ATMfestival.com. Okay. Get your tickets. All right. Now, after this here, what do you have going? We've got a bunch of um, uh, weddings and corporate parties. Yeah, you parties do a lot and, of weddings and, 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 and Yeah, we do a lot of weddings. That's how we eat, you know. And uh, actually, I'm going to bite the bullet, mm -hmm. and we are going to record a project. Oh, that's great. We're in the process of recording a project. During the pandemic, we recorded a song. I mean, nothing could be further from my mind. That whole artist thing, music business, uh -huh. trying to go get a hit record. Yes. You know, yeah. I, I didn't want any part of that, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I just want to play. There's enough music out here uh -huh. to play and to make people dance and to have a good time. You know, I, I just enjoy the live reinterpretation of classic. Yeah. yeah. Rock, yeah. funk, soul, mm -hmm. jazz, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my lane yeah. that's the thing that i love doing and uh i've been able to make a living yeah. from it for a bunch of years i'm blessed and you just love music right and, and with, right. with music you can just play and sing and dance Listen, off just music yeah, right yeah i mean the synergy that happens when live musicians play yeah and that pocket there's nothing mm -hmm. like it when we get together and when we play you know I mean, UGL was supposed to be an isolated incident. Um, <laughs> a brother by the name of John Ski from Harambe Institute is kind of one of the instigators of putting this together. He, he um, years ago, well over 25 years ago, he said, Henry, I want you to get the baddest musicians that you can put together for one day. I want mm -hmm. to put together Philadelphia Super Band to open up for the Gap Band. Okay. Gap Band okay. was coming for a concert uh, at the Dell. And uh, I've wrote up a list of about 22 to 25 musicians thinking that half of them would be available. All of them winded up being available <laughs> for the time. All of them <laughs> said yes and everybody yeah. was home. So uh, I okay. said, what the hell? We're just going to have a Philadelphia funk mob like Parliament Funk and Festival <laughs> stage. And we had one, like, 90-minute rehearsal and had, a, you know, a, a list of songs. And we got on stage and started playing, and we started looking at each other, and we were like, "Oh no, this, <laughs> this, 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 this can't be a one and done thing," you know. And you know, twenty five years later, twenty five plus years later, you know, we're still here, and uh, Philly gives us a lot of love. Yeah, you know, they they give us a lot of love. They they respond to what it is that we're doing, and it's 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 a reciprocal thing mm -hmm. you know we mm -hmm. feed off of their energy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just a beautiful thing it really is and you Where did go ahead gorilla come from i made up that name to uh basically it, the premise of it was we are musical mercenaries we mm -hmm. are an army of musicians that's that have good. come together yeah. for uh -huh. The funk, the whole funk, and <laughs> that's it. You know, you know, don't don't get it, yes. don't get it twisted. Yes. You know, we, we don't understand dialing it back. Yeah. We don't understand. Only thing we understand is overdrive. You know, we come in, we punching you in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you know, and, and, and we're going home. You know, that, that that's it. That's all, and everybody understands. And 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 one of the things that's great about it is for me is the fact that. Everybody puts their personal egos to the side for the greater good. Well, that's of that's song, great. That's you know, great. Band, yeah. You know, yeah. The vocalists, yeah. because all of these vocalists, I mean, are are 
stars in their own right. Name some of the vocal, vocalists in there. Uh, Lawrence thing. Newton, Kenny uh -huh. Jackson, uh -huh. Naima Harper, and Paula Holloway. Okay. I mean, these are all vocalists that any band would have them standing in front. It, it's going to be an, an, an excellent situation, mm -hmm. but I'm greedy. Yeah. <laughs> I want all four of them. <laughs> you know, I'm greedy. You know, I, so, hey. It, it, it it's just a beautiful thing it really is well when you first started off henry years ago did you think you will ever get to this plateau i mean what were your goals when you first started off were you just going to do the musician kind of you thing know, you know my, my goals were to pay the bills ah. you know, you know, well my, i understand my, my, that my, my, my goals were to pay the bills i mean what was important to me was to make a living at doing something that, that I love enjoy. yeah yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I had been so blessed yes. to be able to do that, to be able to have people respect what it is that I've been doing and res and respond to what it is that I've been doing, you know. Um, and for me, we've become such a I want it now people, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. no, no, you know, mm -hmm. I wanted I wanted um, something to drink. And where I would get in my car and go to the supermarket and go and get sodas or whatever, man. I went online and and went to Instacart <laughs> and ordered my juice and sodas yeah. and stuff. And the yeah. stuff shows up at the door. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's, it's ridiculous. I, literally. You know, one day you're going to be able to wake up and say, wash me and put on those clothes. And <laughs> hold up your hands. And then you're not going to have to get in the shower anymore. Jeez. <laughs> that's how it seems that it's going you know it's so many different things that's going on right yeah, now yeah i mean amazon is now saying that they want to go and improve two days to one day <laughs> that you would order something and it shows up at your house the next day yeah hey but funk ain't never going nowhere no and and we, you enjoy it you 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 enjoy the we music do. we do and then it it's happy music you know it's just happy right, music right. you can what right. whatever kind right. of attitude right. whatever's going on with you when you hear that music yeah. nine times out of ten you're ready to dance and just right. have a good time right. you know for us and boy do we need that yeah man our job is to go and give you a temporary reprieve from life yes just to enjoy yourself and to okay immerse yourself into the moment and take a break okay and and go back to when it is you know, back when the Osley Brothers would release mm. an album and every song off of that album was a single. Yeah. You knew it. James Brown would put out. Think about the, think about back then when music was, you bought the album and you, you didn't pick a specific song. You just put the dog on needle on the record. It's all the songs. And let the record good. play. Yep. Turn it over on the other side. Let <laughs> all of that play. Yep. That's not what the world is now. It's a singles driven market. You know, it's. Give me that old stuff, man. Yeah, I like the old school music too. Yeah. I was I was talking to Alfie about that uh, just the other day, because mm -hmm. um, he was saying some of his things are dated, and you know, yeah. and I said, but I like that. You know, I like to hear that. I like to hear some old school kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, when sometimes. Alfie Pollard sits behind the piano, man, it's a beautiful thing because you see the eighty years of life come out in that man's yeah. fingers. When he plays that instrument, I mean, it's like my God, it, it, it is so rich, yeah. it's so seasoned. You know what I mean? It's like it's like a perfect, perfectly cooked. Oh, it steak. has to, it has to be perfect. You know, I with mean. the onions and everything. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a has beautiful be thing. Perfect. You know, you know, with the bernays on the side mm. and a nice glass of wine, even yeah. though I don't drink, but. <laughs> well, I think you're doing a great job, and I'm excited about um, the concert that you're having yes. on the 19th. Yep, all things and, music festival. Yeah, and I want everybody to get the get your tickets you know, and be there, and be so there, we can please. support Henry. You yes. know, and, and this is new that something new that you're doing. Without question, and, but We're this isn't the last. Year, we're going to do it every first, year. My voice. This is the first annual. First thing, okay. But it's going to happen once a year, minimum. Once a year. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. How about before we go, let us uh, tell me a couple names of guys in the in the group. Okay. Drummer is Daryl Burgey. 
Oh, okay. Curtis Brown is the bass player. Darren <laughs> Daughtry is the guitarist. Brian Williams on keyboards. Uh, Lance Gamble on secondary keyboards. Michael Gist from Instant Funk on percussion. Oh. Okay. Uh, myself, Lewis Taylor, and Don Collins on horns. And uh -huh. as we spoke earlier, Paula Holloway, uh -huh. Lawrence Newton, Naima Harper, and Kenneth Jackson, Kenny Jackson, as we call him, on vocals. Okay, because I'll meet, I don't know Naima, but I'll okay. meet her next yes. Wednesday. Yes. She's going to be doing something for us. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So I'll beautiful. get a chance to meet her. All right. But I congratulate you, and we Thank will you, support Doris. you. Right, Gilbert? Thank you. We will be there, right? He gonna give me the ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And we want, we want you to be there, too. Yes. You know, we want you All to Things there. Music Festival, atmfestival.com. See you there. Now, give them, they have a number. Give them a number they can reach you. Uh, Email. No, just go right to the website, website. atmfestival.com. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining in today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.